What's going on guys? So last video I tried to solve uh, my boost leak issue on this car, my WRX, by replacing a couple gaskets on the intercooler and they did nothing. The problem persists exactly as it did before. So today we're going to uh, make a boost leak tester. So I'm going to head to Home Depot and usually whenever you are going to Home Depot to uh, get car stuff it's pretty janky. But I just need some couplers uh, in order to some couplers and a uh, fitting for in my compressor so that I can actually block off the intake system and pressurize it with my compressor. That way I can put pressure inside there, see wherever uh, it is leaking out and solve it that way rather than just throwing parts at it. The reason why I put those gaskets on is just because uh, I knew they hadn't been replaced before and had been disassembled and I knew that I didn't have a good gasket in my uh, on the BPV because I broke it one time when I had the BPV off so uh, I just replaced it with an OEM one to see if that would solve it since it needed it anyways. Yeah, to Home Depot. Thank you. All right, try number three. I just uh, recorded the first one without my mic on and then recorded the second one without the camera recording, like an idiot. So, plug for the thing, three inch nipple male for a compressor. Just under four bucks for both of those. Now I'm gonna go to a parts store, get a silicone coupler, three inch, and that should be all the parts I need in order to make a boost leak tester. There we go, finally I got it out. It's recording, mic is on, all good. <laughs> this sounds good, man. Take it easy. Picked up this coupler, and that should be all I need. Let's go put it together. Seems to always happen to me. Perfect timing. If I would have come by literally 10 seconds earlier, I wouldn't have had to stop. This is that train that always uh, drives me insane inside the shop. Oh, even better. They're stopping. Right here. Why? Why must you do this to me? Well, apparently they they lost their load. What does this mean? Am I gonna be able to go? I've never seen this happen. There's not a train station near here, I don't think. What? All right, we're back at the shop. Here is how this process is gonna work. This is going to get clamped inside of this coupler. Hopefully, if it fits. Hopefully it fits. And this is going to get threaded into uh, this piece of PVC. So I need to drill a hole for this to go into and then uh, sealed all up and everything. And the other end of this coupler is going to get clamped onto the turbo inlet on the car. I'm gonna uh, put about 15 pounds of pressure into this guy using my little air compressor. And that will, uh, then I'll be able to hear that horrible noise that happens every time I get into boost and I'll be able to track down where it's coming from. So let's throw a hole in this guy that is just a little bit smaller than the threads on this. So, slight problem, this is 3 inches OD, this is 3 inches OD, minus the threads. So even if the threads weren't there, it would still be the same size as this. This is like a time where having a lathe would be really nice. So I'm going to see what I can do with this, but most likely I'm going to have to go to the store and find something else to fit inside this. Now I can take this to the store with me now, I should have bought it first and brought it with me but to uh, size something actually correctly. So I had to make a second uh, trip to the homeless desk spot, but I got this plug instead of the white one, and then this coupler 
and then uh, this piece fits over there perfectly tight so I really should have gotten this first and brought it in with me but whatever no big deal I wasted like two dollars so I'm just gonna tighten this down and then throw it inside the coupler and then we can go hook it up to the car basically Alright, so I've just clamped it onto the turbo inlet, so it will actually pressurize everywhere from here all the way up into the turbo itself, into the intercooler, out the wire, or into the intercooler, through the Y pipes, out this into the intake manifold, and then the combustion chambers if any of the valves are open. So I gotta go charge up my, uh, or turn on my, what do you call it, compressor, let it, uh, build up some pressure and then we can just hook it up. So compressor is hooked up and it is set to about 18 PSI. So now I just have to open the valve on the compressor, make sure the throttle blade is open and listen for any sounds. There it is, whatever this thing is. So, now I know my problem. Alright, so it's this guy, my EVAP purge valve solenoid that is uh, giving me problems. It's 30 bucks at the dealer, just called up my buddy over there. So I'm gonna go pick it up, as well as I got a part in for the Porsche. So I'm gonna go run down there and pick it up. I'm not sure if that's gonna fix my boost leak issues, but uh, it's definitely an issue because it sounds like a duck call or something whenever I'm driving. So. May as well fix the problems that I know are problems now and then continue going on after that. Now that, uh, if that fixes that, I don't think there are any other boost leaks on the car. So I might may, may just have to adjust the uh, wastegate arm and see if that fixes my uh, under boosting problem. I fast forward about an hour, I'm back at the shop. No purge valve in my hand. Uh, they had one in stock on their computer, but they didn't have one on the shelf. So they've got one ordered for me. It's coming in a couple of days. Um, so I guess I am done with that. However, I did have this guy and this guy come in. Um, those were on order for me there. So I also need to find the rest of my parts. But that should be all the parts for my tensioner, which I needed for this. I had to rob the tensioner off of this to put in the WRX so that I could have AC again. I couldn't live driving around in the heat and sweat every day anymore. So I guess I'm going to end the video off there. I'm heading out of the shop. I'm going to go home and edit a few videos and get them up. Uh, but look forward to some Porsche videos soon and we'll actually get out on the road. I think I'm going to have my buddy come over and help me uh, start tuning it and everything. And then this car, you can see I ripped the foam off the fender. Uh, so the, the fender flare thing on this car is sort of put on hold for now. Be, it, it didn't work so I'll, I'll just have to figure something else out. And for now I'm going to be doing the quarters. So look forward to those videos. Um, if you have any ideas on how to do that then let me know. Or if you know of any good ways of like building up a fi fiberglass fender flare. Let me know. And uh, definitely like to hear that information but that's gonna be it for me so thank you guys for watching this video hit that like button and subscribe button and peace out have a good one